Atlas and ACERT are acronyms that you'll hear all Arbor people talk about. And to break it down, it's really pretty simple. Atlas is our database. It is derived from a, a global network of, of sensors that send us back internet uh, threat intelligence, right? And we get this telemetry from our network operators, our global service provider partners. And we also, of course, have our own network of sensors that we deploy. And that information then comes back into a, basically a, a massive central uh, database where we can then classify and categorize and process all of that information. And then ACERT is our resource organization, right? So we have a very strong team of security analysts that can then take that information and turn it into actionable intelligence, right? Because everyone is, you know, we have a ton of information in front of us, right? In this, this age, this is most people's largest problem. They have too much information. How do I act on that, right? So rather than have to go out and build your own security analyst team, although you may want to have one anyway, I would, would certainly encourage that, uh, we can do that for you, right? We have a team that does nothing but analyze these threats. We've been doing this for over a decade. And why do we do it? Well, it's really simple. If you look at what most security organizations have to offer, they have, they're going to tell you a similar story, right? They have this great database of all the threats. They have a signature for everything that could ever harm your, applica your applications, your enterprise, your, you know, bring down your servers or uh, exfiltrate your data, you know, whatever the threat may be, right? And then they're gonna tell you about their great research organization. Well, it sounds like what I'm telling you, doesn't it? Okay, what is different about Arbor? Well, it's very simple. When we started doing this over a decade ago, there was no one to go to to get this kind of information. You couldn't, you know, the security community didn't, community didn't have it. There was no one selling a list of, th of known threats, right? There was no AV signatures that you could buy. There were no, you know, snort rules that you could go get, right? So we had to develop this ourselves. And what we were looking for was the needle in the haystack, the you know half a percent of the total threats out there that were related to DDoS. And in doing so, what we did is we got really, really good at finding the entire lifecycle chain of the threat across the global network. So we're not just looking at a sample of a piece of code or malware. We're not just looking for a signature for some file that you might find on a server or on a uh, you know, host or workstation. What we're doing is looking at the entire lifecycle and then we have many different pieces of information that can be applied, whether it be host names, whether it be the code itself, whether it be the command and control servers, the uh, you know, known bad source addresses. And we analyze all of this constantly in real time and we then take that and we turn it into a couple of different uh, things that you can consume. So we have our threat research bulletins, we have uh, independent reports that we do. We have um, our ACERT blog, which gives you, you know, up-to-date information. We share that publicly. And then, of course, we also take this information and we bake it into our products. And we do that in the form of a real-time feed. So as soon as we know about a threat, the product knows about a threat, and you don't have to do anything other than just make sure that you're utilizing this tool to you know, be the most effective that you can be in stopping the threats on your network.